This video is brought to you by Hollow 12. Hollow 12 biology courses are aligned with the curriculum of over 150 countries. DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. Take a look at this molecule. This molecule is known as DNA and is formed of two strands that are connected to each other. It is present in a twisted form, so its structure is known as a double helical structure. This structure of DNA was explained by James Watson and Francis Crick in the year 1953. Genes and chromosomes. Take a look at this chromosome, it looks like two threads tied by a knot in the center. These are two strands that are connected to each other at the centromere. When you look at them closely, you can see that it is made up of a long molecule of DNA and some tiny proteins. Now, take a look at this tiny segment of the DNA. This is known as a gene. Each gene codes for a specific protein and therefore, control the characteristic in organisms. Do you know how you get characteristics similar to your parents? Well, it is because these genes that control the characteristics pass from one generation to the next. Why don't you try our free course in A or app? Download now from where you get your apps or go to our website, hollow12.com. Chromosomes in a human cell. Each human cell contains 23 different types of chromosomes and two sets of chromosomes are present in each cell. Unlike all the other cells, the gamete cells, that is the sperm and the ovum, contain a single set of chromosomes. Two sets of 23 chromosomes make the total number of chromosomes in all the cells except the gamete cells 46. The gamete cells have 23 chromosomes. Out of these 46 chromosomes, two chromosomes are sex chromosomes, the X chromosome and the Y chromosome, while the remaining 44 chromosomes are known as autosomes. Autosomes are defined as any chromosomes that are not sex chromosomes. Structure of DNA We have already seen the double helical structure of a DNA molecule. Now let's take a look at its structure in detail. The DNA molecule is made up of tiny molecules known as nucleotides that are connected to each other. Each nucleotide is formed of three parts, a deoxyribose sugar, a phosphate molecule, and a base, also known as an organic or nitrogenous base. There are four different nitrogenous bases, these are adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. These bases are often known simply as A, G, C, and T. Go to our website, hollow12.com, to find out more about our great courses. Thank you. See below for links and don't forget to subscribe. Ring that bell to keep notified of our latest videos.